Yesterday, President Museveni left for United States of America to attend the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit, selected to open tomorrow on Tuesday in Washington, D.C., at the invitation of American President Joe Biden. Now, Ugandans living in the diaspora, especially USA, are planning a big demonstration in that area where President Museveni is going to be. Right now, they are getting their placards ready, their red berets, and uh, their megaphones ready. Now, they accuse President Museveni and his NRM government of corruption, violating human rights, overstaying in power. We are talking about over 35 years now. And other Ugandans say he was not democratically elected in January 2021. And so they wonder why other legitimate governments in the world are still working and financially supporting President Museveni's government. Otherwise, the summit commences tomorrow and uh, we are waiting to see what will be happening that side. And of course, I'll be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Now, Uganda human rights lawyers and some victims have welcomed UK sanctions on former IGP General Kale Kaihura Kalechezi. Lord Mayor Ariasi Lukwago says he has never recovered from the incidents when General Kale Kaihura ordered for his arrest, in which he claims his rights were highly violated. <laughs> Now, Lukwago says the sanctions against General Kale Kaihura by the United Kingdom have given him hope for justice. All the efforts geared towards checking the excesses of the regime are welcome, including the sanctions they impose on the perpetrators. Now, many people say the sanctions have no impact, and uh, Lukwago says this would serve best if the perpetrators are dragged to the ICC International Criminal Court. The moment the summons are issued out, the world perceives you as a criminal and that dents your record in the first place, your image, and it makes you a fugitive, it makes, it makes you look like an outcast, and you get stigmatized. In a way, it helps to check their excesses. He, however, questions the timing of the sanctions. We feel like uh, sanctions imposed on officers who have since left the government, who have since left the force, may not serve the intended purpose. They should target those who are still serving, those who are in active service. And human rights lawyers agree with Lukwago. These are sovereign states, and you can't keep on uh, superintending over them each and every time. So sometimes the actions are not timely, and yes, it may affect the, 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 the effect or the impact. Now, the lawyers demand that the European Union should as well sanction other human rights perpetrators. The evidence is clear there. Since the US and the UK have come in that light, we need the same action from EU institutions. So it would be important if EU also followed suit and came up with a strong message that uh, democratic governance and respect for human rights and accountability is, is a key asset or a key condition to some of the aid we give you. General Kale Kaihura's sanctions come at a time when he's still battling with charges related to negligence of firearms while serving as IGP that was between 2005 to 2018. Well, there you go. That is the latest update I got for you this Monday morning. And definitely more stories will be coming your way. You know, the day is just getting started. So you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, what you have to do, subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. And it's a bye for now. Thank you.